tale of how he got on Zoo Year's Eve. I tell it to everybody. I don't know if it's true or not, but a drunk promoter told me, and I'm like, what? Zoo Year's Eve? Zoo Year's Eve a few years ago. I'll tell that story. Jiggy it's Jaguar a good story, man. All the people that played the zoo, Jiggy the zoo Jaguar. show, Jaguar. man. That that was back when people paid to get on shows. Now, if you want to get on a, a rap show, you got to pay S.A. Crunk or you got to pay Swept Aside, and they'll get you on a metal show. No. Nobody has to pay Swept Aside anything. Jiggy Jaguar, Jiggy Jaguar. Because we stay open till fall. We stay open till fall. <laughs> oh, we love it. Mike we check, love it. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike Mike check. Mike check. It's the longest. Be quiet, yeah. It's the uh, longest intro in the history of radio. We'll be back to pick it up later. It gets me so hot. JiggyJaguar.com. Germany. <laughs> Germany, I love it. God damn. Well, I'm telling you. Yeah, that was it. There it is. Jerkwad. Jerkwad. My mother thank you. My father thank you. My sister thank you. My mother thank you. My father thank you. My sister thank you. My mother thank you. My father thank you. My sister thank you. And I thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Jiggy Jaguar on the air. It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar you show off and running for the new year 2011. Yes, indeed. The, I believe uh, the we've, got people, we've got people coming up the steps. We what got do they people, want? Just grab the door. Bring them in. I can't do anything. I'm on the air, people. Somebody's got to help here. Somebody's got to help. Somebody's got to get up and get that door, and they brought their own alcohol. <laughs> oh my god, they brought their own alcohol. It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar you show. Coast to coast to border to border. We're like coast to coast like butter and toast, ladies and gentlemen. And uh we're getting it in. We've got a uh we we've got uh Salinas Finest monitoring our radio program each and every week. I found that out this week. I'm glad they're fans. Um, That's kind of weird. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Celine Police Department. Celine. Thank you for tuning in. Celina and Celine County. <laughs> We've got... Uh, there are other public officials who are paid by the city of Celina. To monitor us besides access. Yes. Yes. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, it is the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar Show, and you can reach out to us at 1-866-763-1242, JiggyJaguar.com. Also, uh, email us, JiggyJaguar at JiggyJaguar.com. Uh, I've got the rabble-rousing ringleader, Ross Long, or as I call him, what is it? The What did I refer to you as a couple weeks ago? The video... The, the, you don't like this one, but the video drug dealer. You give everybody their first fix for free, and then the second one costs them. We've got <laughs> uh, I don't like the term drug dealer. The Michelangelo of video. <laughs> we, we, we currently have a poll on JiggyJaguar.com. We have a picture of Ross up there, and then we have a brand new poll for a brand new year. Does Ross look like Dr. Phil? Vote at JiggyJaguar.com. Do we have an audience participation? On Do we this have one? an audience participation? Does he look like Dr. Phil? Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey. All right, folks. I do not generally allow my visage, visage to, be to be publicly, publicly presented. presented. <laughs> but for the poll purpose, the poll purpose, the poll that sounds purpose. like a. Uh, uh, that sounds like a, a strip club reference. Thing. I don't know. Or something. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it Gilbert? Is it Gilbert Godfrey, Chevy Chase, or uh, as it were, Doctor Phil? You've been bad. Or, bad. or if you're Hollywood Ed Baldwin, Arsenio Hall. I don't know why, but he thinks he looks like Arsenio Hall. Is it the baldness? <laughs> it's the baldness. I think it's the baldness, kids. <laughs> and you I can... just cut my hair too. That was that was my New Year's resolution. To cut my hair, and I've achieved it. My New Year's resolution is 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 um well I think I I might well we won't get into that we 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 won't talk about her on the air. She might be over here later because as Scott said a couple weeks ago, she's the kind of chick that you hook up with and she doesn't leave. And kind of wow, like was he correct? We'll, we'll of, talk about that later. <laughs> kind of like some of his his, his relationships and unless world. you're my wife and you unfriend me on Facebook and go oh we're divorced. 
Fuck it. That's how they. That's they, how uh, she got a divorce. That's how I got a divorce on Facebook. And now she's in trouble for it. Now she's in trouble for it okay. because she's marrying men who are in the service and taking their money. Um, this is of course the world famous Jiggy Jaguar show, brought to you by our good friends at GoDaddy.com. Save 10% off world-class web hosting packages. The banner is available at JiggyJigwaya.com. But, of course, the first segment of the That's world. where I got uh, RossLong.info. It was very yes, inexpensive. Indeed. Yes, indeed. And, uh, and you probably got a discount. It's been... <laughs> <laughs> if you click on the Jiggy, you have to... Now, you have to do it. you got to click on that banner. It's like an affiliate program right. and all so that go crap. To G- is, is the banner on JiggyJaguar.com? Yes, indeed. Yes, go to JiggyJaguar.com. Do we have live stream up there? Yes, because indeed. We have live stream. A, streaming is... I, I have a special guest from... Uh, he's just the biggest mofo p- poker player there ever was. And he's so lucky. He'll call with a 7-3 and hit, you know, and beat pocket aces all the time. <laughs> and uh, people hate him, but I love the guy. And I actually sent him a DVD of Viva Las Vegas. He is The award-winning Viva Las Vegas. He is one of six people who actually liked that show. <laughs> well, uh, and, he, and he really got off on Ross Long. Info. He liked the Of course, today, um, I, 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 am, I am getting it rolling. We are getting it rolling in the new year. Um, GoDaddy.com, of course, uh, brings you the first segment of the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar show. And uh, we're going to be talking about all sorts of different things. We've got a house full of artists, individuals, we're, People who we're doing a slow pan. We have got, you know, a who's who of of artists, including, I believe, a guy from the movie. Has anybody seen the movie Spinal Tap? We've got him in our kitchen here <laughs> on the world famous <laughs> Jiggy Jaguar. The bass show. player. <laughs> the bass player from Spinal Tap. And, and he swept aside. And he plays is here. here. And he puts weird things down his pants. <laughs> He is this this guy is a rock and roll he is a rock and roll legend. He has he has banged strippers, he has he has done it all. He has you know, he has he has um, went into the to the toughest Walmarts in Memphis, Tennessee. He has gotten it rolling. That's a good one. We're talking about Big Scott in the building. There. And we will talk to him later on in the broadcast. And he's growing his hair. He, he looks, is, like, who, who does he he look looks like? like a sober Jan Michael Vincent from Airwolf. Does anyone remember Airwolf? I don't know if they do or not. He looks like <laughs> I do though. He looks like Grizzly <laughs> Adams after he did the the free base thing and burned off all his beard. <laughs> <laughs> or Bruce after he burned off all his beard. The, the the oh god the Joe Miller look. He looks like Joe Scott Miller. We have information. Totally on the Joe Scott Miller show here in Access, and yep. also ran for uh, yeah. Senate in Alaska. No, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. At least at least I'm number one in Scott's live, or maybe eleven. I don't know what it is. We've got. Well, we'll figure that out later. Three. <laughs> you know, we need to find. Ah, uh, we won't get into that. We'll do that later. Um. Need to get me a date. Oh wait, I've got one. She won't leave me alone. Uh, oh, the she, uh, you can she's a up. freak. She's, if there ever was a freak, yeah. <laughs> we won't say her name. No, she laughs like Fran Drescher. What's <laughs> worse is she looks like Fran Drescher. <laughs> with the um, teeth and. Oh my God. Except with no IQ and no money. Exactly. <laughs> now, of course, uh, in in this broadcast, we're gonna do our we're gonna talk about our studio guests. Our our studio guests. Eh, what a doodle. If I want to be the Grease fan there for a second. We're going to talk about all our different networks that are joining us this week. And boy, now, kids. Now, wait a minute. Scott had a question about. How, Elvis Presley, several, that was last week. There's oh. like 50 other stations or a dozen other stations oh, that, yeah. that simulcast us right now. Yep. So, Ian Morley, if you're listening to us from the ever perved out UK over the ocean, hello. Hello. There's a lot of people that hate you on Japan. United Kingdom. Hello. <laughs> Germany. Germany. Hello. We can, and uh, okay. we're also going to be talking about uh, an individual that is trying to rep us off. I didn't talk about this last week, but we will get it, we will get into that this week. We will uh, talk about the idea. We will also talk about um, a city official who uh, told me uh, he wasn't real happy with access and. Uh, we got an email from legendary Larry D, and he wants to talk about, oddly, since Scott's in the house, strippers. 
Uh, so we didn't, will... didn't Ed want to do something with strippers? Ed wanted to do something with strippers that's, too, that's, that's, but and then of course we have Trill in the building. Yeah, your boy Trill. <laughs> Just a second, I'll get it. This spot. guy is. He has one of the greatest folk stories in the history. I don't even know if it's true, but I'm going to find out today. Folk. I, I've been telling Stories. everyone this story as if it was true. So, And then we have a guy from Wichita who, I, when I announced he was going to be on the show a couple weeks ago, ever, I get calls, tweets, emails. They're like, you have a Jackster on your show? Are you prepared for what kind of problems will come from this? But it's all good. People love this guy. And... Uh, he even brought his own. He 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 apparently thinks this is Weasel Wiesel's bar because he brought his own beverage, which is nice. And uh, <laughs> we got. Oh, we, I got. I shot the wrong person. I will shoot the right person now. We will shoot the right person. You need to tell me who these people are. <laughs> you need to tell me who these people are. There we go. Okay, right go there, on. Jackster in the building, right the big star. Right Forget about blowfishes and twine factories. Forget about ferrets and jello fights. We've got him here today on the. And big they're all line. coming. They're all coming soon. Right here on the Jiggy Jaguar. Yes, show. indeed. But first, let's uh, let's let's chat about um, Trill, Trill brother. You are the man. Uh, what up? You, 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 you are the, as they say, the shiz nizzle. And I am white, so I can say that and sound white. Okay. Unlike uh, that one thing that we used to have on the show that I can't say because I would sound like Ed Baldwin, a racist. But <laughs> we, won't, we won't get into that here. But Trill, you have one of the greatest stories. And I tell people about this constantly, and I want to actually have you tell me today if this is true or not. But I heard on that there there was a show probably two or three years ago when I first met you. Yeah. It was called Zoo Years Eve, and yeah. it was promoted by 92.7 The Zoo, which, as we all know, I used to work for, and I used to be Crash Davis, which I don't know why they named me Crash Davis. You I'd didn't got, name yourself that. No, that was Brother Ken. Um, but Trill wanted to get on Zoo Years Eve, and the and the card was already stacked full of people. And Kevin Hardison said, well, if you pay me to get on the show, I'll give you five minutes. And the origin and the story that I heard from people was that Trill at that point pulled out $5,000 in cash and handed it to him and said, I want on the show. And he said, fine, you get 15 minutes. What was great was the night of the show, his crowd showed up, and there was like 50 of these people, and they rolled in. They bought the most expensive alcohol they could from the bar. He did his 15 minutes, they drank like fish, and then it was over, everybody left. And the bar made like five grand in one shot. So I'm trying to figure out, is this is the story true about you paying five grand to get on the show? Well, I, didn't that pay, old hey, I didn't pay five grand. Maybe the people who came in there and bought drinks did. Okay. But you know what I mean? I bought a crowd, though. I did bring a crowd. you seen that for yourself. I've seen that you know what crowd. I mean? When I left, I said, hey, come with me to the party. Come with me. You know what I'm saying? So I looked at it like, well, shit, I am the club. Like some people say. You know, you know what I mean? Some people say in the street. Some people say You were the man, my hey, man. See, I was the club that night. When I, I brought the crowd, when I left, they left with me. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's a hell of but, a uh, deal. Yeah, I had talked to dude. I had wanted more time to perform, but due to so many people performing, they only gave me a 15-minute slot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I did like three, four tracks. But, but you got minutes. it in. I said, yeah, I got it in. I'm going to get it in. You, know, <laughs> you do a lot of 15 minutes. So, yeah, I did my thing. Left, I did, when now, I left, what, 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 do you, what have you been up to since I talked to you last, which is probably Cypher Show. Last, Cypher show. last taping of the Cypher Show. Um, basically, man, I've been working on this this trilogy CD. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm working on. And then I got this mixtape called No Hooks. Well, I'm not dropping No Hooks. You know what I mean? Fuck it. I'm just going to freestyle the whole CD. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Fuck the hook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, for real. <laughs> like, like, I'm just going to freestyle. Like, never it. have a chorus. Yeah, yeah, it never real. goes to the, the no, hook. No, the it never hook. goes to the hook. Right. Just let that just motherfucker play let it ride. Like, I mean, I don't got to the point where I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of sitting there trying to come up now, with a concept. Now, tell me, do you, do you like sometimes just think up the words in the in the booth? Yeah, that's how I do. Just straight up freestyle, right off the head, boom, go in there. Like that's total improv. Just, just what's on the mind sometimes. What's up on my yeah. mind? That's a, that's where it's going. Rap about right shit there. you done living this shit. You know what I'm saying? Rap yeah. about shit you done living. Oh, yeah. it. it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? You live the right lifestyle, cuz it's you gonna be fucking. Out, it's gonna be there. You know, regardless, homie. Regardless, it's gonna be there. 
Well, uh, trail. We need to bring that idea to heavy metal. <laughs> well, we we've got because the we've got the masters of heavy metal. Heavy metal too. Yeah, they bring true. in heavy metal true. beats, and it's cool as hell. True. Yeah. Me and Joe about to get on this uh, it's a rock rap beat, man. It's fucking shits off the chain. We listening on the way here. You no, know what I'm saying? We hitting the booth after we leave here, and we're gonna kill this shit. <laughs> Already. Now, uh, now, 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 Trill, you are, uh, you, you, you are like a legend in your own time, my man. I, I tell, I tell people that name, and they instantly know who you are. Yeah. How yeah. the hell did this happen? See, this, this name came about when I was like 17 years old. You know yeah. what I mean, I had got locked up in a little juvenile facility, or whatever. And uh, anybody that been locked up know how people are about food. You know what I mean? Dude wanted my eggs and milk. Like, no, nah, you ain't finna get my eggs and milk. Fuck this. You know what I mean? Like, are you serious? But anyway, they asked me who what my name was. I said my name Trail. Well, after me standing up and being the man I was at a young age in this facility, they were like, you know what? We're going to call you Trill Trill. And that, it just stuck with me since then. You know what I mean? So that's how it came about. It really doesn't have nothing to do with like you know foreign languages, you know, trilling your tongue or <laughs> no, no, no. I know what you're talking it about. Though. Like it, 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 no, no. It, he's it, it's he's, just, he's not, he's not the grease down. man. I mean, if, no. you're out, if you're spitting out words, that 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 he's might not, be. He's not gonna roll his R's like rolling roasters chickens. No, he's not gonna. Like do that. the rebel rousing ringleader. That's How right. You that? <laughs> However you say that's it. A, that's the meaning of trio, though. That's one meaning of trio. I know what he's talking about. Now. uh... Couple things, Trill. One, does Ross look like Dr. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe Beast, Beast Mode believes oh. he looks like Dr. Phil's doppelganger. For real? They, I, mean, uh, I don't know. I can't say that. That's probably what they say the man look like, but oh, I can't say that. Does that? Does he look like Dr. Phil? Probably like a little slim version. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. Slim I, I feel like a little slim version. That's what I. That's what I say for it because uh, you know, yeah. If I if I would gain about eighty pounds, I might be you know more of a Dr. Phil. Yeah. Slim so Phil for everybody. Slim yeah, Slim Phil. Like yeah. Slim Whitman. Like Slim. Yeah, that sounds. Like, 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 like Slim, slim Whitman w with the brand new book, How to Be a Ho. Be we got to <laughs> I don't know. I, I it, Ross. Iceberg Slim. I don't know. How to be a hoe. How to be a hoe by Slim Whitman. Some people call you a... Uh, An idiot? Um, Wait, <laughs> I've, got, I've got the list here. Idiot. Uh, Some people call you Mickey Mouse because of the uh, headphones. Jigomatic, a poser, a friggin' moron, a creep, never was a DJ, a jackass, cheap labor, and a glorified board op. Jiggy jackass. Oh, and Psycho Pervert from Hell, which is my favorite. But uh, Did you give yourself <laughs> that one? No, Jean Paul Taratoka out of Chicago, out of uh, Warrensburg, Illinois, gave me that one. He got on one. He got on all my YouTube videos one day, and he's like, "Don't trust this Jiggy Jag guy. He's a psycho pervert from hell." So I've got like ten videos where he did that, and they're all you got like, "Some haters, you're doing something right, man." Apparently. Oh, well, believe, oh, believe people, me, I have haters. Look here. <laughs> this is one of the rare versions. They're called viewers. Where we have, this, is one of the rare, this is one of the rare times where we have both our visages on at the same time. We got to say to the Thomas Lambs of Gods and the Willie Parks of the world, forget it. I mean, <laughs> you can, give it sure, up. yeah, you can get a live stream account and you can do Just this. Just give it up. But you don't know what you're doing. I mean, you're not simulcast over 50 other... Uh, radio station. <laughs> you don't Just have a, a following in Germany and and the Germany, UK like no. we do. I mean, I, I mean, we we got people just just you know salivating for our next porn star, and Pretty you much. can't get that. No. So don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try. Just give it up. Uh, the J I G G Y. That is him. Oop, pointing the other way. Yeah, we, we, that's him. We we love Up. we love everybody in the world, and they love us. Now uh, you can check us out at livestream.com/slash Jiggy Jaguar, or just go to JiggyJaguar.com. And uh, while you're at JiggyJaguar.com, vote in our poll. Um, sign up for our newsletter. Join our Facebook group. All that usual crap. Also, you can now subscribe right directly to our YouTube channel which is kind of odd 
And I've been getting people who apparently like our YouTube stuff, which is cool. So. What do they want? I, I don't uh, know what they want. Are they monitoring us? They're monitoring us. Why? That's right. Why? What do they want? Are they looking for uh, registered service marks? That's right. They're looking for registered service marks from Access. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> Trill... <laughs> When's 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 the album coming out, brother? When's the album uh, coming yeah, out? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a really official release date right now, cause um uh, the guy I'm recording with, I'm gonna have to yeah. get some stuff remastered. You know what I mean? That's cool. I was dealing with Aaron Household to Studio you no know, on State Street. That's right. Studio 1117. Mr. Soul Preacher himself. Uh, yeah, but hey, yeah. he he got some high rates, man. This dude right here don't want to come down on no rates. And I be trying to put it in on the booth like a couple of hours, no, a block at a time. We man. do know a group of gentlemen in Junction City called High Point. High Point. I don't holler at them. Shout out to your boy Demo. I don't holler at them. But right oh, you, now, you, uh -oh. Yeah. You, you already know Weasel Wiseau? Yeah, I don't know. The, Mr. I don't take your bitch. Our, our, our lady friend from downstairs is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pachinko <laughs> is in the building. Yeah. Send her in. <laughs> Send her in and I'll play her intro. Send her in. She needs to, she, she's yelling and screaming at people. Here she comes. No, come in, come in, come in. Yell, do, do your thing. We've been waiting, we've been waiting all day. Go. Yeah, the one We told you. We told you what was going to happen. Yeah, you told me about that. <laughs> we told you what was going to happen. Little feisty little thing. That that, that was little Pachink Ho. Or Pachinko. that that was that that was that was little little Pachinko. She is, um, as you can tell, out of control. She's a candidate for that uh, MTV show. I'm 16 and pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. It's crazy. There, there is a rumor. There is a, there is a rumor making its way around the streets. And Scott's smiling because he already knows what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> as he laughs like a jackal. <laughs> now, uh, that, 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 uh, that, of, uh, she didn't, she didn't give me enough time to play her intro. She has a whole intro we designed for her where she comes in, and, and it's Cartman going, ah, I do it, I won't. Whatever, I do what I want. Oh, you didn't find it? I, I didn't find it in time. She got the hell out of here before. crazy. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jackster. He sang what needs to be said. He sang what needs to be said. Yes, indeed. You got the full effect. You of got the full Pachinko. effect of little Pachinko. <laughs> she doesn't want no short dick man. No, no, no. Right, go ahead and play her. her, her, her don't want no. <laughs> I thought she was a goddamn governor of Salina. You don't need to know my name. Just move your car. <laughs> <laughs> don't want no choice. I do what I want. What do you have, huh? I do what I want. Well, now that we've had our first set of fireworks, we're going to take a quick little time out. When we come back, what are we doing when we come back? We will we will talk to to the man sitting next to Mr. Mr. Trill, Diablo. M Miss, Mr. Diablo, and then Swept Aside will join us. They have brought with them their what do they want? Their bass player, the <laughs> the, the 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 guy who is fresh from Spinal Tap. This is, he is Spinal Tap. <laughs> this is Spinal Tap. <laughs> <laughs> this is spinal something like sp <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we come back we will, we, we will chat with Diablo and uh, we will get it in stay and, tuned uh, on live stream stay we, tuned on live stream we're going to we take a quick little time out and uh, when Hope we you're come enjoying back us, Morley. Well, lots of people hate you but I right. love you baby when, when, <laughs> when, when we get back uh, we, we, we gonna we going to get it in and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to talk to Jackster about his experience with Miss Pachinko. We will. We will do that and more when we get back here on the world famous Jiggy Jake Boy. The big show. Giving a new meaning to the phrase. 